What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about sim racing on your Steam Deck. Today we're going to use the Mark 9 backplate with the LCD Steam Deck mainly just so we can use the extension for the M.2 port because we will be testing games out with our GPU later. So this video idea started off on Reddit where I found this tutorial on how to get a Logitech steering wheel to work on a Steam Deck running SteamOS. And after a day of wasting time, it did not work. As I read further and further through thread, the owner of the thread or through the person that posted it just said it doesn't work anymore and you should just go to Windows. So I literally wasted a whole day trying to get this thing to work and all I had to do was scroll to the bottom. Apparently, um, a, a couple days ago, someone had added tutorial guide to do it. I haven't tried it yet though, but I just went with the creator of the thread and said just install Windows, which I did and everything worked fine. Only thing you need to do to get the Logitech steering wheel working on Windows is go to their website and download a G-Hub to get the latest drivers and everything after that should be pretty much plug and play. In Forza Horizon 5 where I did majority of my testing, we are going to start things off at 720p low settings. Our Steam Deck is running Windows. Windows 10 to be precise. Do not use 11. It breaks your drivers, especially if you're going to do the external GPU. I don't know what's going on. I wasted another day trying to figure out driver issues. Quick disclaimer, this Steam Deck is overclocked 22 watt TDP, 3800 MHz on the CPU and 2200 on the GPU. If you want to know how to overclock your Steam Deck on Windows, I'll leave a link to my previous video on how to do that below. Though we are playing natively on the Steam Deck, we are attached to a 32 inch 1440p 144Hz monitor. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed on how well the Steam Deck held up at 720p. The picture is not great, but very high frames for a Steam Deck, 60 and up throughout most of the gameplay. Yes, it's blurry, there's fuzzy edges, but there's no latency, the frames feel good, feel smooth, really immersive to be driving uh, with the steering wheel paired with this monitor, even though we're not getting the 144 hertz it's able to. Remember, we're running on a APU Steam Deck and I'm, I'm really enjoying myself here. Still at 720p, we just bumped everything up to medium and got pretty dang good result. Picture quality is a hell of a lot better and we didn't lose very much frames at all. Kind of just in that high 50s, low 60s range throughout the gameplay, but definitely a noticeable clearer picture. Next we bump up resolution to 900p. With the preset set to low at 900p, we are still holding 60 frame for the most part throughout the gameplay, dropping into the high 50s, very similar to 720p medium, and it looks better. It just looks better than it did on 720 medium settings, so 900p so far is kind of the winner. 1080p low settings we are able to do a very respectable mid 40 frames which is really nice because the extra pixel density with this large monitor really really helps a lot in that immersion. And before we plug the GPU in we have to test out 1440p which is the native resolution for this monitor and I promise you it did not disappoint staying well above 30 throughout the majority of the gameplay a few scenes when you're going into certain areas it does drop below 30 but for the most part 30 frames smooth at 1440p this is a freaking apu all right with those results i was pretty pleased to the point where i don't think you need a gpu but since we have this nice backplate that has easy access to this m.2 port let's plug in this rx 580 days later to say that this project has been plagued from the beginning the conception the inception conception inception i don't know for some reason i wasted another day 
because these gosh darn AMD drivers are all broken for Forza Horizon 5. I'm getting this error FH302 every single time I did a DDU up, I used older drivers, I couldn't figure out how to get this RX 580 to work, and it looks like it's a problem for not only just RX 580s, but a whole slew of AMD cards. I really hope for a side-by-side -side comparison between the two, but it is what it is. It's broken. I don't know whose fault it is, but it doesn't work. I really wanted to end this video with at least one game that ran well with the GPU. And the, out of all the games I had, this was the best running one and surprisingly the funnest one out of all of them. Euro Truck Simulator 2, which is a game from 2012, but with this GPU on this monitor, we're getting some pretty dang good footage. We're at 1440p high settings, and we are staying steadily at high 70s, low 80s with this 1440p high preset, and I'm very happy with the gameplay. This is actually a really fun game and you should check it out if you see it uh, especially if it's on sale <laughs> and to be quite frank you really don't need a gpu to play this game on your steam deck and if you put on windows and do a slight bit of overclock at 1080p medium settings you get right about the same frames high 60s low 70s area when I started this video, I kind of didn't have a direction, and now that it's done, I still don't have a direction uh, of where we're going on this thing, and honestly, I was going to scrap the whole thing and just chalk it up as a L, but then I had all the footage, I was going to delete it, and I had all those hurdles that I went through, and all those DDDU wipes, and those legacy drivers I went through, and I was like, hey, maybe someone can learn from my mistakes and not waste their time, because Forza Horizon 5 does not work. <laughs> on AMD graphics cards as of now and also sim racing wheels don't work on Steam OS as far as I can tell that new script that guy wrote out might work I haven't tried it yet but I am sick and tired of dealing with this thing it's not worth it to me in my opinion where you can overclock your Steam Deck on Windows and everything just works well on Windows so if you're doing sim racing just go on Windows you can overclock your Steam Deck the big takeaway is you can sim race on your Steam Deck but you're going to want to do it on Windows and you're going to want to overclock it. You don't need a GPU. Just manage your expectations. It is very akin to sim racing setups from the arcades of the past like Daytona 500 or some like Cruising World or something that like that. Very similar graphics wise but the frame rates are actually better than those. I think all of those ran on 30 frames so if you got the equipment give it a shot. It is very much worth your time to do it and do it on Windows. Don't don't try to go through those hoops. It's still probably not even working. Do it on Windows. But other than that, guys, my name is Nas, a.k.a. DIY Poppy. I'll catch you on the next one.